another taste and experience with key encounters let's talk about it the item that we have here is from mason l works out of san diego california uh this is their well it's seven percent alcohol by volume this is in a 16 fluid ounce can and this is called weapon x um and this is now i had made a mistake on the last one i recorded which was the deadpool one um and it's actually from their immortal series um, but Weapon X is um, definitely a really nice zombified Wolverine um, situation. The can is fire. Um, gotta love that. So again, I just wanted to correct that in this video versus the other one. We only get to do one take. So if I make any mistakes, I'm glad I'm able to rectify that in another video. So what we're going to do is we're going to purge this to make sure it doesn't spill. All right, seven percent. And who doesn't like Wolverine? And yes, I did see the movie. We're gonna pour that nice and easy so we don't agitate it and have it go out of control. Okay, get it a nice head, kill it. Set our can right there. Looks great and fantastic. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Soapy combination of lemon zest, lime zest, regular grapefruit, earthy, and botanical. Nice perfume to it. Nothing sweet, nothing overbearing on the alcohol. Nice clean beer, but it, everything that I'm describing times it by two to make it a little more robust to the to the aromatics. So now we're gonna taste it. Got an oat back finish. Um, everything that I was describing, now imagine rose petals. And I think rose petals in liquid actually has a nice texture to it, a nice flavor profile. So I'm just kind of giving you guys that. Now, consuming it and having a conversation, I'm now getting notes of orange. I'm getting tons of hops. A lot of hops is already drying me out, and I'm already salivating. This is definitely... Um, I, would, I wouldn't say it's aggressive, but it ain't no faint of heart type mess here. And it's still soapy. And usually when you mess with um, things with a lot of hops, uh, this is definitely going to be an hazy IPA. Um, it's going to be botanical, bitter. But these are the traits that people really enjoy when you talk about the things in the family of IPAs. It's an acquired taste. And once you can... Um, get past the bitterness it becomes an actual delicious and refreshing item and a lot of people are like oh it's too bitter but think about it hazy ipas regular ipas double ipas triple ipas are all they sell out a lot so that tells you right there it is a very popular style of beer now considering that the can has this wonderful advertisement on it um, that's the that's the thing that drew me into it is is because I love comic books and stuff like that and Wolverine and Deadpool are like on my top my top tier list of uh, characters that I enjoy. So does the beer match the advertisement on the can? Absolutely, right? Um, it's meticulous and it's flavoring. It's got complexities, just like Logan's story of how he survived who he is and what he went through so there's a there's a nice connection there also the color of the beer and his uniform actually match very well um very well and then on top of that the aggression that wolverine could bring is the aggression that the hops are going to do to your salivary glands in a nice way overall this beer is really nice and if you can get your hands on it I'd recommend grabbing a couple of cases of these. I usually sell them in fours. I would highly recommend aging it in a refrigerator or cellaring it. Um, enjoy the four now. They're fantastic. Aging them, I think, would just even be better. I love aging beers. That's always been a thing of mine that I always do. And for someone who just enjoys comic books, it's a great um, item to put on your shelf. Now, the cool part is here on where I'm at in this room, 
there's an unopened can that's actually in the room of this particular beer. I'm never going to open it. Um, so this can right here is just going to be nice to drink out of um, or pouring it out like, like you see me here and just have myself a great time. And that's what it's about. Now, I want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me on this incredible engagement and experiencing something wonderful. And until next time, guys, cheers.